Hello loves, I hope all is well. I wanted to come to you guys with pretty much like a one brand tutorial and the brand that I'm going to be using for this look is all Tarte. Now there are going to be some products that I use that aren't going to be uh, Tarte but I will mention those anyway. So if you want to see how I got this look, just keep on watching. I'm going to start off with the Tarte CC Under Eye Corrector and this one is in light medium. So this is a peachy kind of concealer and I'm going to take that under the eyes and on my lids as a base. And I'm just going to use my fingers. So as you can see it does neutralize the eyes and a little bit of my sallowness and I love using it as a base for my eyeshadows. Next I'm going to take my Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer in light sand. I'm just going to take the smallest amount as you can see there and I'm going to use the tip of my beauty blender just to cover up any of the imperfections that I have like uh, any scarring from old pimples and blemishes on my nose just to cover up some of the redness. I'm going to take my Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Airbrush Foundation in Medium Neutral. Now I'm going to apply it with my Air Buki brush and as you can see um, I kind of made a mess of it today. Now I start off by kind of placing it in spots because it is darker than my skin tone and just rubbing it in. Now taking my Anastasia Contour Palette, I'm going to be using the shade Vanilla and Banana just to set the under eye concealer and on top of the lids. Now for my brows, I'm going to take my Anastasia Brow Wiz in Ebony. I'm just going to brush my brows and lightly fill them in. Now for the eyes, I'm going to take the Tarte Rainforest After Dark Colored Clay Eye and Cheek Palette. I'm going to start off with the shade Tangled Up With You and blend that into my crease. Taking my Sigma E35 brush, which is just a basic blending brush, and I'm just going to take that on the crease. I'm then going to take the shade Make a Mauve and place that all over the lid. I'm going to apply that using my MAC 239 brush. I'm then going to take this beautiful purple shade called Plum Away With Me and place that on my outer V. Now I'm going to be using my Wayne Goss 04 brush and I'm just going to place this on the outer V and just kind of smoke it out. I'm going to take my Sigma E25 blending brush and just blend that into the crease. Going back with my Wayne Goss brush, I'm going to keep building on the color. I'm going to then blend my crease using the shade Bare to Explore. Now to blend that I'm going to take my Sonia Kashuk 109 brush and take that shade and just blend the crease with it. To highlight the inner corner I'm going to take that shade up to no gold which is a gorgeous shimmery gold color. You can use any brush you like, I'm just going to take my e.l.f. concealer brush and just pack that on the inner corner. For the bottom lash line, I'm going to place Don't Turn a Brown. Use my favorite Real Techniques accent brush and just place that on the bottom lash line pretty much halfway. I'm going to take my e.l.f. crease brush and it is a very small brush so I use it as a, 
a smudge brush and I'm going to go back with that purple shade. It's what I used on my outer V and just place that on top of the brown and blend that bad boy. I'm going to take the shade Bare to Explore, which is the lightest one in the palette, to help blend out the uh, bottom eyeshadow. <laughs> going to line my waterline using my Jordana 12 Hour Made to Last Eye Pencil. And I'm just going to line the waterline. Going to line my eyes using my favorite Jessie's Girl waterproof eyeliner. I'm just going to try for a small wing. Now I'm going to contour using Park Ave Princess. Now I'm going to take my NARS Eda brush and just kind of contour some of that and place that where the natural shadows of the face would be. Take a little bit on the side of the brush and just kind of warm up my nose a little bit. And then taking the blush Unleashed and placing that all over my cheeks. going to highlight using the shade Champagne and I'm also going to be using this under my brow. Now just taking the highlight on the high point of the cheek and using my finger and placing that on the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, and I'm going to use that as an under brow highlight as well. Now I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply my mascara. Now for my lashes, I'm going to be using Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. And mascara on the bottom lash line. For my lips, I'm going to be using the Lip Surgeon Matte Lip Balm. And this is in the color Lively. Just gonna wipe off the chapstick that I placed on my lips. So that completes my one brand tutorial and this is the finished look. I hope you guys like this video. Please thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.